So this past weekend, my friends and I watched Justin Bieber's movie Never Say Never. I know you're probably having some feelings of disgust right now, but just give me a chance. The movie shows that Justin really has some true talent, and he also cares deeply about his fans and is a very passionate person. Even Morgan, who almost literally physically fought watching the movie, admitted afterwards that she was able to imagine him more complexly, her own words, after watching the movie. As a result, I've been thinking about Justin Bieber a lot this past week. Listening to his music, you know, the whole deal. Earlier this week, I had a dream about Justin Bieber. Just hang on. In the dream, he confessed to being a nerd fighter, and that's what I want to talk about. Now, I realize that the likelihood of Justin Bieber actually being a nerd fighter is very, very small, but on Monday, Hank claimed that Google is alive, so I think you can bear with me for this one. What if he was a nerd fighter? Now, I know that a lot of nerd fighters would probably say that Justin Bieber is, in fact, part of the world suck that we're trying so very hard to fight, but I don't think that's very nerd fighterly of them. Maybe they should try watching his movie. I mean, John calls us to imagine people complexly, so let's accept Justin Bieber as one of our own, then. For lack of a better term for this, if he came out as a nerd fighter, then what happens? It's common knowledge that his fans are ridiculously devoted. Like, anything that he suggests to them, they will do, they will buy, they will stand in line, sell out Madison Square Gardens in 22 minutes, the whole nine yards for Justin Bieber. They cry for him, scream for him, make t-shirts for him, and are just generally obsessive about him. They're preteen girls. So when Justin Bieber tweets about the fact that he's a nerd fighter, and you know he'd tweet it because he's on Twitter all the time, he'd tweet, hey, I'm a nerd fighter, check out John and Hank Green at Vlogbrothers. And then all 10,397,412, when I checked earlier this week, of his followers would see that tweet. And most of them would at least click on the link. It's hard to say how many of them would actually stick around and become nerd fighters because they're preteen girls that might not be entirely in the nerd demographic. But I mean, I think we can think about if even 1% of them stays, that's 100,000 new nerd fighters. And that brings me to the crux of what I've been thinking about since I had this dream. Would Nerdfighteria want that? If we become mainstream, do we lose some of our nerdfighterness? I know John and Hank just passed 500,000 subscribers, and Charlie just passed a million subscribers, and everyone's been really excited about that, but I'm talking mainstream. Like Justin Bieber mainstream. Like he watches every one of your videos, and everyone has heard of Nerdfighters. It would be exciting, because all of those new faces would ostensibly be helping fight World Suck, but would it also detract some from the feel of the community? Think about it this way. People were angry when Darren Chris started on Glee because the Star Kids knew him first and felt this ownership of him, and were angry at the new fans who only knew him from Glee. Similarly, Harry Potter fans get angry at the people who have only seen the movies and never read the books. I have no doubt that some of the original nerdfighters would have some sort of resentment towards these new nerdfighters who came from the mainstream media. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something that would happen. If you want to, you can take Justin Bieber completely out of this equation and just imagine a Vlogbrothers that has the same publicity and follower counts as him or Lady Gaga or someone similar to that. I don't have that many subscribers, so probably not that many people will watch this video, but I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on all this. Basically, to boil it down, is the growth of Nerdfighteria good in an infinite manner, or is there a point where it becomes too big and changes into something else that isn't quite Nerdfighteria anymore? Let me know in the comments.